welcome to a spooky edition fall vlog. We're doing all things spooky. It's spooky season. Halloween is approaching. Today is actually Friday the 13th. A lot of exciting things are happening, friends. All right, first things first, we went to an amusement park last weekend and it's a childhood amusement park. It's near where I am from and they do like spooky nights. I think they call it hollow fun every year and I've never been to like the Halloween themed evenings or days or whatever. So George and I went to stay at my friend Alicia's and her boyfriend Derek's house and we made a whole day out of it. So I did a lot of vlogging of random clips. So I'm gonna throw these in now so you can get some spooky goodness. So today, like I said, it's Friday the 13th. There's a lot of exciting things happening today. First things first, the Eras Tour concert film is in theaters. It was supposed to premiere today, but then Taylor sideswept everybody and people could go see it last night. But we, I got tickets for Amanda and myself, you know, when it all came out and it was a trial. It was... <laughs> It was very hard to get tickets and I ended up getting tickets for a 10.30 showing tonight. <laughs> it was like the last possible like time and like seats together that I could get. So I'm just excited I was able to get them, you know, for the original opening night and I'm gonna have to have coffee later today to stay awake because we know the concert was like three hours long and I know the film is going to be at least three hours long so it's gonna be a long it's gonna be a long day and long night but i'm so excited and i have an outfit picked out and all things so we have that going on today in like 20 minutes i'm going to pick up amanda and we're gonna hang out here for most of the day we need to catch up on drawtober so like all day is going to be drawtober drawing and, and prepping and trying to get ahead and i need to make my post for today which is going to be like Eras tour inspired and with like a spooky twist, which I need to, I sketched it out, but I need to draw it and do all that and procreate, get that posted. And then ideally I'd like to get like ahead as best as I can in terms of, you know, Drawtober for the weekend and into next week, because this whole month of October, I've been just trying to catch up and my life has been taken over by drawtober and today was the first like morning i was able to like sleep in and like slowly wake up and like not have to constantly be stressing out about what my drawing is going to be or if it's done and if it's going to get posted and i've been doing some video editing <laughs> much needed video editing for my last vlog that you guys have seen so i'm going to try and get that exported and uploaded today we're gonna try i have too many ambitious things that i need to do i just remember i need to return library books 
I'll probably do that when I get Amanda. And oh, and then also our friends, uh, Heather and Jeremy, they're having an engagement party tonight on October 13th. Um, Heather is a big like horror movie fan, so it makes sense that they're having their little engagement party tonight. So we're gonna stop by for that tonight before Amanda and I go to the Eras Tour movie and that'll be fun and cute as well and nothing like major just a little uh, get together at a restaurant and stop and see them and that's today's plan at least. I do have other ambitious things that I want to do in this vlog including reading and Halloween decorating. So I have some fun things to show you guys. I made a Michael's order recently because I had a $10 voucher and <laughs> wanted to get some things. So I got these black taper candle holders. They're huge. I didn't think they would be this huge, although the measurements were online and I could have actually like took a ruler to see how big they were, but it's fine. They, all their Halloween stuff was like half off and it probably still is right now. So I got a set of three of these because Halloween vibes and these will be good you know all year round as well not just for Halloween um, I got these two like candles we have this like cauldron shaped one and this cute witch hat one that I think would be so cute to sit next to each other or around I also got construction paper because I want to make some DIY decor. I got black to make bats and white to make little ghosties. And then I'm gonna take some twine and just make a little bit, make a little garland with that, which will be really cute. I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow because today there's just way too much going on. This is my little Gordy that I got from Trader Joe's in my last video. And I've had this from last year. This is from Target and you can actually buy it still this year. It's like a little candy dish holder and it's huge. And then I also, these I've had for a while, but I got these little Halloween trays. They're like little plates. It came in a set of two. So I got a set of ghosties <laughs> and a set of pumpkins. And you can use them to hold your food if you're having a party or just trays to hold things. And I think they're super cute. Some other things I got um, at this candle store is called Keystone Candle in Harrisburg when I went to see my friend. Alicia last weekend. So we went there and I got two of these like bronze brass candle holders just for like every all year round use. I got three of these orange candles that I want to put in here. Ooh, that's going to look so cute and spooky. So we're going to do that. And then I got this little taper holder, candle holder that's meant to like travel with you historically it was meant to help you see going from room to room so i'm excited to use that and i got this little random candy cane candle there too because i saw it and it was like on clearance because christmas is coming and then these are just two candles that george and i got i got sweetie pie it smells it smells so good it's like i'm weird with baked candles like if it's too strong it annoys me but this is like light it's like the perfect balance of like having a scent but not being overpowering and then George picked this one out which is tiki woodlands which is like kind of a nice little tropical calming calming scent yay so either today or tomorrow I'm going to try and do some decorating maybe I'll put the candlestick holders out today when Amanda's here to set the vibe and then we can do like DIY decorating tomorrow with our construction paper. Yay! But with that said, I gotta go pick up Amanda soon and then we're gonna start our day so we can do our fun little itinerary. Let's go. Look what came in the mail. Don't mind the mess behind me. 
but it's later and I wanted to show you guys my outfit for tonight for Eris tour and we're also going to our friend's engagement party very very soon like right after I film this and this is the vibe we're we're channeling folklore evermore I mean red with the fedora and just you know the perpetual folklore vibe but something something very important came in the mail today so i ordered something and it was on pre-order and i thought it was going to come until like november but it shipped like a week ago and it was supposed to come like a few days ago this week but then it was stuck in ohio and then it came today on october 13th friday the 13th when i'm going to the film It's the Taylor Swift Speak Now cardigan, and I love it so much. I specifically bought it because it had the little yellow stars on the side. Instantly sold. It's super cozy and like thick as well, which is much appreciated. So we're putting this on top. <laughs> Maybe this is a better, better view. But look how cute the stars are. Yay. We love it, we love it. morning friends it's the next day I am so tired I decided to come outside because it's raining it's the perfect day to stay inside and do nothing and read draw get crafty and that's what I want to do today so let's go inside because I have things to show you here's my booty from last night they had like a tote bag and like glow stick thing for $13 and it was sold out and I was so gutted because that would have been great um but i got a cup and posters were free for anybody who had a ticket so yeah the lighting in this apartment is not very good right now because of the gloominess but we're wearing this all day we're wearing our cardigan all day since i want to stay inside and read and draw all day i have two books that i need to decide if i would, what i want to read these are my options I'm probably going to end up reading Vampires of El Norte by Isabel Canas because hello, spooky season and I've been wanting to read it <laughs> since I bought it. And then Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. I don't know, I might start both, we will see, but I definitely am going to be reading this one for the rest of this video. And I have drawing that I need to do for Drawtober. That's just my daily routine this month. and. Yeah, so we're gonna be cozied up on the couch pretty much all day. I think tonight we'll try to do some crafting where I'll make my little DIY Halloween decorations and all that fun stuff. And if I don't end, end up doing that tonight, I might do it tomorrow. But fret not friends, you are with me for the rest of this cozy weekend at home. And yeah, let's, let's start reading. <laughs> October days were hot, but when the sun set, autumn announced itself with a nip in the air, 
It smell piney and crisp with the promise of change. <laughs> So it's Monday and I did not do anything YouTube related yesterday. I really needed the day off and I did a lot of stuff around the house and got our bathroom cleaned and laundry and it felt so nice after like this chaotic literal past month has been, I feel like a broken record, but I really just needed space to be and do things around the house and not film and yesterday was that day and it was great. And I've made significant progress on Vampires of El Norte. We are on page 212, more than halfway there. I'm really, really loving this book so far. It's literally like the first chapter, chapters, very engaging. I, I was in love like within those first two chapters. Now that I'm past the halfway point, it's definitely gotten a little more action-packed, a little more horror-y, and I'm loving it. So far, if you are not familiar with this book or the genre, it's, it's a horror book, but there's also historical fiction as a component, and there's a love story, and I just love all those things wrapped up. Monsters, love story, history. I would say that's like my favorite thing, which is why I love the Discovery of Witches uh, series so much, because it has all of that wrapped up in it as well. So, my goal is to finish this this week. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish it probably midweek because I have been making time to read on top of my drawing and I even painted my nails black, guys. Who am I? I am taking a mental health self-care day today because I need it and I deserve it and it's been so good and I was able to paint my nails a spooky color for the season. I actually went and bought black nail polish last night at the grocery store. So I was inspired by Morgan Long in her Patreon video. She did like a spooky vlog and her nails are black and I was like, duh. <laughs> and it goes so nicely with my little onyx ring. I love it so much. And I'm already chipping from just dishes and life. So I'm probably gonna have to do a second coat very, very soon this week. But tonight I am I'm committing I am putting it out there that I'm going to do my decorating, my DIY Halloween decorating and make my crafts. I have my twine right here, but we're gonna do that tonight. I think I'm gonna watch a movie. Maybe I'll watch The Craft. I've been wanting to watch The Craft for a while. I don't think I've ever seen it. <laughs> and I've been watching a lot of movies when I'm drawing and having it as background noise, but The Craft I actually wanna like watch so I don't know if that would work with doing a craft. It could work with doing a craft, but if I don't do that, I'll pick another movie. And I just need to find like a template, I think, like to print out. Um, I think for my ghosts, I guess I could also just draw my own, make my own template because that would be like the more uh, creative art artiste thing to do. Um, so maybe I should do that. But anyway, just letting you guys know and, and telling myself that I am going to show up and decorate tonight. Not right now. We'll do it tonight. Some spooky vibes. But just wanted to pop in when the lighting is nice and while I had the energy to check in. And then I think that's going to be the video because we're, we're near the end and I need to edit and get it up. But yes. All right, I'm taking action and I'm just going to use a template for <laughs> the bats at least because that's going to make my life easy. And I will link these down below. But this, I just googled like bat DIY template and found this website which has like different sizes. Um, so I just want to print one out and then kind of like trace it onto the black construction paper. So I think I'm going to do a medium size and like a small one to have varying sizes. So, these are what the small ones look like. Those are actually pretty small. What does a medium look like? I think that was more what I was thinking. All right, let's print that. And then I already have a head start. <laughs>
Okay, so essentially what I did was I printed out my bat templates and then I eventually figured out to just like attach them to the construction paper to hold them in place with washi tape and just cut them out that way and I tried to be ambitious and cut like multiple pieces of paper at once and that didn't turn out too well um so I would recommend doing one or two pieces at most because it'll be very thick to cut unless you had better scissors than I did because I was just using child <laughs> scissors. So I just cut out a mix of large bats and medium sized bats and then I wanted to work on my ghosts so that was pretty simple. I just drew like a ghost shape. I was able to fit three on like one sheet of construction paper and then cut those out. Then I attached the ghost to my twine with just regular tape, which was a good move, and attached it to the wall and drew on the faces with permanent marker. last thing I needed to do was put up all of my bats on the wall and I initially used washi tape and soon regretted that because the bats started flying off the wall because the washi tape wasn't sticky enough and ended up swapping those out with regular tape but I'm happy with how it turned out. Welcome to the end of the video friends. I'm trying to edit this and realize I didn't really film a proper outro or anything and wanted to say thank you for watching this video and i finished vampires of el norte a few days ago sometime like last week and i love this book a lot highly recommend it it's definitely a kind of slower burn slower paced book like it's not a thriller action packed but it's definitely historical fiction kind of is sets the tone and that's my favorite, of course, the sprinkled love story and the horror elements and the vampires. I loved it all. Definitely a great read for this time of the year. And I started reading Magic Lessons next, which I'm really loving that book. But you'll hear more about that in my next vlog because, yes, there's one more spooky autumnal vlog in the works coming your way after this video. So again, make sure you're subscribed. If you've made it this far, you probably are subscribed. And if you're not, hit the subscribe button hang out, stay a while. We have fun things coming your way. With that said, I will see you in the next one. Bye.